My name is Eamon Quigley. I'm a professor of medicine and human physiology at University College Cork and I'm also one of the principal investigators in the Elementary Pharmabiotic Centre here at UCC. My main work is really on the clinical side. The APC is a large multidisciplinary group which takes the study of the human microbiota or the bugs in the gut uh, from the bench all the way to the bedside. My work is primarily at the bedside area in terms of looking at changes in the gut bugs or the bugs in the gut in disease states such as irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease uh, and even obesity. And I've been on the board of the American College of Gastroenterology for the past 14 years. In that capacity, one of my roles has been in developing the international profile of the college and I, I think one of the things I'm most proud of uh, from that time is developing a very close link between the American College of Gastroenterology and another group that I work for, the World Gastroenterology Organization. Now, why that is important is that the World Gastroenterology Organization plays a major role in trying to develop standards of training and practice of gastroenterology, not just in the developed world, but in particular in the developing world. And to that end, the World Gastroenterology Organization has founded 14 training centers in Latin America, in Africa, and in Southeast Asia, and even in Oceania, to provide training in basic gastroenterology to doctors who otherwise would really never have access uh, to this possibility. What we do is we, we, we actually do different things in different places. Uh, each of these centers is a bit different. In some, they exclusively provide complete training. In other words, they take a doctor who's trained in internal medicine and they take them through the complete training in gastroenterology, but very importantly, in a manner which is appropriate to their area. In other words, we're not teaching them what we do here in Ireland, we're teaching them what they will do when they go back to their own country. In other uh, training centres, they focus perhaps more on refresher courses or on short courses to people who already have some training in gastroenterology. And in others still, they provide perhaps uh, focused training in a particular area of gastroenterology, a particular technique, a particular area of disease, uh, such as, for example, liver disease or uh, a part of endoscopy uh, to doctors who already have some training. Basically, I was incredibly uh, honoured to be nominated for the International Leadership Award of the American College of Gastroenterology and I guess the citation said that this was in recognition of my contributions to the international profile of the college and perhaps more importantly to the development and furtherance of gastroenterology and standards in the care of digestive diseases around the world and I suppose trying to interpret that, I, I guess this would be largely in recognition of the work I have done with the, the World Gastroenterology Organization and the American College of Gastroenterology in these training programs and in other educational activities uh, throughout the world, but particularly in the developing world. It has informed me on several levels. First of all, it has given me an appreciation for the challenges that people face in different parts of the world. And of course this is very relevant because UCC uh, has a major profile in, in the international arena and in, within the medical school we have a significant, significant number of international students. And I think my understanding of, on the one hand, the educational system in North America and on the other hand, my understanding of the educational system in, in say, Asia and other parts of the world is helpful in terms of uh, dealing with our own students here. On the other hand, I think it provides an incredibly important perspective to healthcare and to the great, great challenges faced by doctors, by medical students and by the community in different parts of the world. And it really puts a lot of things into perspective and a, a, perspective, a perspective that I think is fundamental to every medical student and one that we really try to impart to our students here in Cork.